Are there cursed videos or photos on the internet? No, no fucking JPEG, MOV, MP4, WMV, 3GP file can be embedded with a curse. Alright, uh, M9s, we have, uh, fucking our deep web video of the week. It's about 48 seconds long, ladies and gentlemen. That's the average sort of length, and as you can see by the resolution of the fucking video, it's obviously deep web resolution of fucking 12p, alright? But we have a Windows blue screen, for those of you who don't remember this, this was the OG blue screen, I'll read it out. An error has occurred, we don't even know what it is, it's not a real blue screen, obviously, they just added text to it, but it's what it would look like. So can fix it. And you have restart your computer. By the way, if you restart your computer, you will lose any unsaved info in all open applications. In the other hand, you don't have any other option. Press enter to return to Windows. It won't work. Or, dude, you know, honestly, every time, like, I got this way back in the day on, like, my old, like, fucking PC when I was a kid, any time it said press enter, like, I would hit enter and I, maybe I'd always get lucky, but it would boot me back to the fucking Windows thing. Of course, when I moved on later in life onto newer computers, fucking the blue screen meant you're fucked. Like, you're fucked is what it is, okay? It used to suck. It still sucks. But let's hit play, and let's see what this is all about. The fuck? something written now that's the same windows thing that's literally the same shit dude it's been following somebody that's the exact same error message the fuck is that dude okay Uh, okay, that was probably the uh, most unexpected little transition to a fucking face. I was totally not exactly completely on my attentive uh, fucking session over there when I saw that face fucking grin like this. It's fucking creepy, dude. It really fucking is. Now, I'm glad there was, you know, I actually think I get lucky with some of these. Like, I don't, I, I don't think we ever come across a fucking screamer. Wait, one time we had the Slenderman found footage, but that wasn't really a fucking screamer, I think. But, uh, this was another video. Um, it seems like it's some kind of a fuck... You know, usually you come across with a certain message for these things. Here, I'm not getting a message, but we got the Windows error. Now, one thing that I noticed here was we got this ones and zeros. And we got this for a brief second. This is like one frame. This is the only thing that I can really pick out of this that's really hitting me in the head. Is we got this whole one second frame of footage real quick. I don't really know what to say about this. Um, usually we come across this stuff. It's, you know, we don't even have all the data, but, you know, it's it, it tosses numbers at you. It just tosses random binary. You know what I mean? You, you can add it. You can add a binary, you know, fucking one, two, four, you know, 32, 64, add it up. And then fucking you should you should be able to get something out of it, right? Maybe a phone number, something weird. I don't know. But it gives you that. And then it shows footage of like walking around. And for this, I remember that one video we watched. Remember uh, if... If there could be people... Oh, fuck. Not that face. That face freaks me the fuck out, dude. Let me try to figure... Yeah, like this one. This one weirds me the fuck out. Because it's like... You guys remember that, um... That that dude who was like, uh... I will kill or something like that? He had the fucking, like... Like the... Like he had the mask and shit, you know? And then he had the... He had the... He had the paper that says, you know, fucking... I, I will kill or something, some shit like that. And it has the shots of the night, you know? And this is literally that thing. It's like fucking... I think they used... Whoever it is probably used that footage or something or like somebody, it's something like that, dude. It's very similar to that shit, man. It really is. But uh, the more and more I go into it, right, like fucking, you see, you see this face. It's like, the fuck is that shit about? 
for some reason, I'm getting vibes of LSD Dream Emulator. And when I go over here, it's like fucking... It's like, the fuck is this, dude? This is like something I'd see... Like, on, like, what are those, like, uh, those thermal optic kind of cameras and shit? You know what I mean? Like, you'd fire it up and you'd see, like, faces like that. It's fucking freaky, dude. But it's obviously somebody's face. Um, it seems like they cut out or masked something out and, like, changed its, um, changed its exposure value in a post-production software or something like that. But it's, it's kind of weird, dude. It's, it's not kind of weird. It's really fucking weird, actually. Usually these come with a message, but I don't really see a message every other than you got a Windows error message and fucking some dude following some other guy and then this shit? It's confusing. It truly is confusing. It's like last week's video, man. Last week's video was like the dude walks around, but at least that, if it was part of an ARG, would make sense, right? Because like, you know, in an ARG, you would typically record around that would be like the point where you're stalking prey or like you're establishing the fact that there is some prey you're hunting down. Well, I'm totally not fucking focused in right now on that. But, uh, but over here, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's a fucking answer. Or maybe, like, they're fucking, maybe, maybe this is establishing the fact they're hunting somebody down. I don't know what the error message has to do with it. I don't know what the fucking binary has to do with it. I don't know what this shit has to do with it. It's confusing, but I guess that was our deep web video of the week. I'm not going to analyze it further. I think I've said everything. I've said my piece. But uh, I'm going to ask you all what you think about this video in the comments section below. Of course, I'd always like to ask you guys what your thoughts on are on all these videos because it's always interesting to see how the community reacts to this stuff too. So let me know what you think about it. It's definitely weird. It's my, if, if anybody knows more about this, let, me know, let us know in the comment section below or the Reddit section. Reddit's a little more easier for me to read because that's where I go to if people really want to get me at but I think I'm going to back out of this. We had our 48 second video. I kind of wish we had a longer one, dude, like a three, four minute one now. I think the longest one we had in a while was probably that like weird, like animated gas mask shit. But we're going to back out of this and uh, go, um, go somewhere else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have what seems to be 56 seconds of video from the deep web. That is, uh, that, uh, honestly... 56 seconds seems like it's going to be the most dankest art project we have come across but uh we have a video from the deep web almost a minute long pretty average for what we really find though uh i really hope we find a fucking longer one like the fucking satanic documentary again dude that was that was fucking something but 56 seconds and uh let's see what it's all about it's fairly high quality actually compared to the stuff you find like at least the resolution i don't know if it's upscaled but we're gonna hit play and we're gonna see just what this contains so uh let's hit play see what this shit's all about Let's go. It's got somebody playing a piano at about three frames per second. The fuck? There's words. Binary. Oh, this is a fucking art project. This is a fucking art project, dude. We've all seen that fucking picture before. Come on, she is still there. Who the fuck's still there? Is this a continuation of the fucking kidnap chick from the fucking deep web video that we saw? Like, one of the first ones? It's gonna be a fucking screamer. Oh no, it ends. Dude, how fucking lucky is this? First of all, there you fucking say 57 deep web sessions. Not one fucking screamer, dude. Not one screamer. Holy shit. Now that I've said that, I probably jinxed my ass too. But, uh, it's fucking dope. So 56 minutes, or not 50, 56 seconds, honestly, it's probably the most boring fucking deep web video you've probably seen, actually, to be, to be fair. But... It does serve as part of a potential puzzle, which is one of the more popular. It seems like everyone fucking loves making these arc puzzles things. So we're going to fire this up. Just give me a second. I'm going to fire up Premiere so we can look inside uh, frame by frame and see just what this contains. All right. So now that we're in uh, Premiere, we can basically, we're just going to go frame by frame and see some of this uh, story for what it really is. So one thing over here is we're going to go look through, we're going to seek through the footage to see what the actual story is. So let's, let, let me just write these down. There is no hope left for me that's one of the first things we've come across so moving out for those at four seconds so we're just gonna go through forward and forward that's the piano dude all right this is apparently somebody fucking 
given the defibrillator, I think. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's just a medical procedure. Okay. Second thing that we've got. Mercy. Right there. Mercy. There's no hope left for me. Mercy. It's also written in the same VCR font that I do all the um, haunted gaming intros on. Okay, moving forward. There was something else. Four. There we go. Four. There's no hope left for me. Mercy four. Going in forward. What the fuck? Abandoned. Okay. Abandoned. And then you got the fucking binary. Which none of the binaries changed. You got this. We've all seen that fucking horror video on the on the, on YouTube. So she is still there, is what I got. She is still there. And that's written in black font. I don't know if it has any fucking kind of significance. And looking in a little further. That, that keeps blinking. So I feel like the blinks might actually be some kind of Morse code. Cause it because it does have like different blinking patterns. See like see like there like if you look between the still and there when I'm seeking, there's actually like it actually changes like its space count. And then it will end. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, pretty much the video. Now the words we've accumulated out of that. So that's essentially So that's essentially the entire video. We've seeked through it all. I've done some multiple pass throughs aside and that's all I can really dig out of it. But this is the video itself. So we've got about five words, five phrases. So they're, well, phrases and words. We found there is no hope left for me. So whoever it is, there is no hope apparently. Mercy. I don't know if there is no mercy, but it's just mercy. And then there's four, which be mercy four. And then abandoned, which is somebody that's gone abandoned and she is still there. Oh, fuck, man. Somebody's got a fucking... Holy shit. My neighbor's doing fucking construction work everywhere. But uh, she is still there, which is the final phrase. Now, the video to me looks like that one video. Remember the one where we had the doll with, like, the worm in the eye? Like, it's the black and white video. So it reminded me of that video. But it also reminded me a lot of fucking the one video with the chick that was locked in. And yeah, that was in color and everything. I feel like this video is some weird kind of continuation of that. Because it's like, I look at this like tape, and like behind the room, there's got to be like, like, okay, we've all seen this one. This, this is what tells me it's an art project. We've seen this creepy video on YouTube, okay? It's a video that goes... Uh, she looks like fucking she like dips her head into the bowl of food all right we've all seen this one okay we've all seen her but i have not seen this video i haven't seen this anywhere this looks new to me it's somebody walking through what seems to be an abandoned hospital or fucking store type situation i don't know but of course behind there it's covered by what seems like condemned tape and it reminds me a whole lot like i don't know why but i just cannot forget that like lady in the deep web video that was locked in like you know the fucking lady that was being observed for some reason it like i'm linking it to that it's probably not even closely linked to it at all but that's all i can think of but it is another type of arc puzzle and as always it's just interesting to find out what is really behind the arc puzzle so at most, I would love to see if people can figure out what real what is this really. And usually there's nothing to figure out because it's just somebody making an art project to fuck with people who end up coming across it, which is what happened with me. I end up coming across it and it's just some fucked up art project type thing. <laughs> but uh, we're going to we're sort we're going to end it because I've pretty much analyzed as much as we can. I've given my take on it. Uh, I like these kind of videos because they just help. They make my mind go in every single fucking location. And usually the creepier and fucking the, the edgier the fucking editing can be, the better it is. But uh, we're going to back out of this. We're going to go to something else. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to end this video where it's at. I'm gonna, we're going to cut to something else. That's all we can really do.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our deep web video for the week. Uh, it's actually really refreshing to see the iPhone resolution. Usually I get pretty fucking triggered when I see things in iPhone resolution. You know what I mean? It's just like, fuck, man. I'm looking at two giant ass bars butt fucking this video in the middle. But uh, here we have a fucking a deep web video. Now, it's an iPhone shot video of what appears to be a man walking. And it's actually really, first of all, I need to say this. Thank you, Lord, for not giving me another edgy art project. Please. I was getting sick and tired of those. Like, fuck. Once you see he's watching you or fucking what did she, where did she go? Or fucking I kill for a living, you know, like fucking Mary Weathers. It, it gets to you, okay? Fucking. Mm. But now I'm glad to be seeing iPhone res. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be coming across here, but uh, hopefully it feels like it's going to be way more down to earth. Like it's just going to be like something weird. It could could be like some fucking deep web social experiment prank channel bullshit you know we might we might find the fucking you know we, we we might find some weird you know pranksters on here you know what i mean like it might just stand with it's just a prank bruh but let's uh let's hit fu let me actually fucking maximize this okay all right there we go i'm just i'm just fixing up the audio here like sometimes it gets so fucking loud on like uh mm, razor kraken here we go Oh my god, see, if I set that to one, it still blares my ears. Alright, let's hit play. Let's do it. Holy fucking shit. Dude, that guy speaks my language, what the fuck? He just said, son, where are you coming from, or where are you going, what the fuck? What the fuck? He's asking where his house is. Holy fuck, that guy is moving fast. What the fuck? Okay, wait. First of all, I might fucking have to say this. Like, I'm glad you're asking him, where's your home? Where do you fucking live? Dude, that's clearly insta fucking ability right there. In instability. Stay the fuck away, dude. Roll up your fucking window a little. Sorry, I just had to get that out. It really stresses me out. What is wrong with this guy? He's just making, like, weird-ass noises. It's like it's fucking possessed. It's like, look at the way he walks, too. It's like... He's having, like, little seizures. Oh, fuck, dude. He's gonna attack right now. Fuck my life. Oh, it ended? Well, that was fucking... Oh, yeah, it's only 54 seconds long. Fuck. Holy shit. What the fuck? <sighs> Alright, I don't, I don't really know what to say on that. Like, I'm... <sighs> what the fuck? What in the flying fuck does anybody say about that shit? Like, honest to God, what does anybody fucking say? Um, okay. Let's analyze the video a little. Let's look at the fucking video. All right, the video is clearly this man. He's fucking driving his, you know, fucking vehicle. Now, this place is definitely in the fucking, in South Asia, okay? It's, it's obviously either fucking India or, like, Pakistan or something. And uh, with the way this guy is speaking, all right, I'm going to make the fucking assumption that he's from, like, Pakistan or something. Because the language he's saying, the way he's pronouncing the words, at least, and this is just me, okay? Like, I'm fucking South Asian myself. I speak the languages. Um, the way he's pronouncing certain words sounds like something on the Pakistani side of things, you know what I mean? Like, I've heard, like, Pakistani pronounce certain words like he's pronouncing in that fashion, okay? Like, there's a weird difference, okay? There's, like, I don't know how to say it, but, like, on the Indian side, I can always, like, kind of tell that the voices are slightly a little more gruff. They're more, uh, I don't know, there's, like, there's a certain type of finesse that's just different over there. Just, just trust me, okay? Like, what I'm fucking saying, okay? I know my shit. Like, hold on. He's like, which means, where's your fucking house, right? So basically all he's doing is inquiring the kid. But I want to look at this fucking dude, all right? Like this fucking guy. I don't know if it's a kid. He just says kid, but, you know, it's like a common thing. His eyes are fucking lit up, all right? <laughs> like the way he moves is so unfucking natural. It's so like, look at this shit. It's, like, he's literally cackling at one point, like, this dude literally is, like, fucking cackling at one, like, look at that shit. 
He legitimately has his mouth open. He's like, ah, ah, like it's fucking, it's like, I feel like this thing's either in pain or fucking moving around. Now, you go further, it's just this dude on a bike. But the way he moves, like, look at this part. Like, just the way he moves, it's like, it's, it's so painful to look at because it's like, I feel like this dude is in some fucking weird type of pain right now. And over here, of course, is where the fucking video is completely over. But, uh, I don't know what the fuck to say, man. Like, that's fucking creepy. Now, there's two obvious things. Okay, obviously, it could be fake. Like, they could just have made a fake fucking video or something and, like, posted it. And, like, that's also weird. Like, actually, you know what? To be honest, I've seen a lot of Pakistani Indian communities on the deep web. I wouldn't fucking be shocked if it was posted on there. Like, this is actually by the original fucking owner. Usually, these are all mirrors and shit. But, like, this dude... You know what I mean? Like, it could be fake, obviously. You know, like, they, they could have had two people fake it. Like, it's not hard for me to go, eh, eh, like, walk by the fucking car. Like, I can do it right now. Like, I'll just get somebody to, like, fucking be in my car and I'll do it. It's not difficult, but, like, you know, getting getting certain things, like, fucking his eyes being lit up. Like, okay, his eyes lit up, actually. You know, I'm saying that, like, it's fucking creepy. But, like, obviously this dude has a flash enabled on his phone. Like, you know, if I fucking, if I did this... Like, if I, t if I took, like, shots like this, you know what I mean? Like, if I put the fucking lighting up to my eye, you know, you, you, like, in that setting, of course it would do that. But, you know, that's just the situation over there. It's a little fucking weird looking at it, but that's essentially what it is. But, I don't know, man. Like, if, if it's real, this is fucking weird. Like, this guy's gotta be on some weird drugs, alright? Like, which is a big thing. Like, over there, people really smoke the fuck out of heroin and shit. Like, it could be that. Or, like, this dude's fucking possessed, man, because I'm looking back over there. That shit looks like a fucking, like... Like, this shit looks fucking weird. It's like some weird, like, graveyard-ass shit. Like, here, let's go a little further into it. Wherever this dude is, it's, like, really awkward. Like, what is this? It's, like, it's like in the really, like, fucking secluded part of fucking town. And it's shot at, like, three in the fucking morning. I have no idea what to say, man. For the first time, like... I'm so glad we didn't see an art project, but at the same time, we've delved into the really weird fucking myth-busting requirement side of these deep web videos. Again, I'm fucking confused. I really am. I don't know what the fuck to say, dude. It's like, this thing is like, this thing literally seems fucking possessed. But it could also be fake, you know? It's just one thing that my skeptic mind is stuck on. Whatever it is, though, I will say, it's weird. <laughs> And for the first time, thank the fucking lord, when we watched a foreign video, I could finally translate it for you. I feel fucking accomplished. But, uh, we're done here. Alright, I think I've said my piece on this video. Uh, we're gonna close it. And, uh, we're done here. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our deep web video of the week. Camera, please don't fuck with me. Alright, we gotta, we gotta... All right, ladies and gentlemen, our deep web video of the week. This is three minutes and 27 seconds long. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lengthy deep web video. Holy shit, am I excited, actually, because usually they're only like fucking 45 seconds long. Now we get a lengthy video. So let's actually get to uh, watching this video real quick. Uh, it's going to take us a while to actually analyze it, I would hope, because it is a longer video. But let's actually hit play and see. Okay, that's a lot of... I can see it's going to be an edgy art project. It's got something... What the fuck is this? Okay, it's obviously got voiceover in reverse, so we're gonna see if we can reverse the voiceover and listen to it. Okay, so they're covering... Is this Morse code? Yeah, we're just- it's just random shots, but it's- it's like- it's edited in a way where it looks like shit, you know what I mean? Like, they actually edited it to make it look shit. This is pretty impressive. Oh, that fucking freaked me out for a second, dude. Fuck, dude. They got some Clorox on there? What the fuck, dude? I'm covering my face because I don't want fucking screamers. That's a, that's a foot. That's a doll foot, dude. That's a safe. Whatever, man. The fuck is that? It's a face in the corner. Jesus, man, what the fuck am I looking at? Holy shit! What are we in a favela? Oh, 
What the fuck is this person saying in the back? I need to hear this shit, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go into Premiere and reverse this footage. Okay, we're definitely- Okay, we got a statue now. We got what appears to be fucking handles for something? This was obviously filmed in a location, but they actually edited it, like they changed the frame rates for certain footage, they gave it the stop motion look, it literally is intentionally looking shit, like this is obviously a plugin for a film that they've just added on top through some other editing software they have. What the fuck, dude? Okay, that was something that popped up on the corner, we'll definitely look into that. Yeah, this is definitely faked, edited in like film grain and like, you know, footage. But yeah, we're like 2.15 into it. Uh, now the footage is starting to corrupt. Okay, you're starting to see a lot of corruption going on. You've got, yeah, there's there's corruption that it's actually added into the video. Like, that's the thing. Like, they actually sat and cut it together, which is a really interesting thing. Okay, I think I might need to censor that. I think I saw something get That's another number. That's another number we'll look at. Okay. Alright, that's fucking... It's a forest, okay. It's another forest, dude. What the fuck is this? Oh, god damn it! Hate dolls. Okay, what the fuck is that now? Is that like the fucking Eiffel Tower, like wireframe? Okay. Yeah, this it's literally just like cut together in like a weird, like fucking manner. Like it's so. Yeah. Now you got like this bowl lens effect, and you got the you got the poster eyes going on. What in the fuck am I looking at? Like, honest to god. There's so much going on. Okay, it's fucking gore, Jesus Christ. It's just dead people at this point. What is this? Belief is settled. Yeah, fuck. The, you know, I never got a screamer before, but fucking now I get the screamer, Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. I hate when I get a screamer tossed in, dude. All right, give me a second. I'm going to put this into Premiere real quick. All right, here we are with the uh, analysis segment over. We're going to look through it real quick. Uh, I think I know exactly what to look through. So it's giving me a bunch of uh, these digits over here. It's giving me this phrase, but it's obviously completely nonsensical, really, or it's just a bunch of jar or garbled shit. Over here, I got what appears to be Morse code. So if anybody can translate in the comments, that'd be very much appreciated. It's also got hexadecimal, or it seems like. No, it's not hexadecimal, not at all. All right, well... Yeah, 6 e two zero. yeah, well, it's interesting, actually. It's got binary. It's got, wow, it's got almost everything. It's got different, it's like they're passing on a message in almost as many fashions it's giving here. Yeah, hexa. You got Morse. I can't read fucking Morse. If somebody else could read Morse, that'd be very much appreciated. But yeah, it's giving us binary. It's giving us like 6F, fucking. It's crazy. It's crazy the amount of shit it's giving. <laughs> it's giving the octal and everything. It's fucking interesting. Going forward, it's just, it's the same thing except it's gone through a vertical sync filter. You go through over here, there's nothing interesting like tossed over here, so we're not going to look too terribly, okay, that's fucking weird, dude, that's scary, that's a doll, man. Freaks me the fuck out right there, honestly. Okay. There's also like specific fucking, yeah, like right over here, 504-952-54 shows up. Yeah, fuck that face, dude. Fuck that face. What the fuck? Oh, look at that. Fucking bleach. Pass it over, man. Uh, uh Yeah, there's not much else I want to look at. The numbers popped up here and there. There was some, you know, numbers in the beginning. What I'm most interested in, actually, is just... Uh, let me go over here and just unlink this real quick. Let me actually go to the speed right here, and let me reverse the speed real quick. So let it render the files real quick. So let me mute the track and let me solo out this real quick. Okay, yeah, now we can hear it. An important business, man. It's a Japanese person they're mentioning if you listen very closely. It's so impossible to hear because there's so much background.
most likely. You'll just listen to it. Numbers. It's the hex, it's the, it's the numbers in the beginning. He was going home to see his wife and daughter, but now he's in a body bag. Holy fuck, what are we gonna cross? It's all the anal analysis I can really give, guys. I mean, there's not much else I can say. Fuck. It's so weird. He was going home to his wife and daughter in a body bag. It's like hearing the weirdest creepypasta ever. Were those numbers coordinates? Were they longitude and latitude? Was the fucking Morse code a message of like, what the fuck was that, dude? Wait a minute, forest. Oh, fuck. Aokigara forest. Wait, did he end up killing himself? That's all I can gather out of it, actually, because the whole forest thing? Wait a minute. Holy fuck. Yeah, guys. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of Forrest being the one thing, guys. Did he go out into the forest and off himself? Did we just come across a fucking deep web actual suicide story of fucking creepypasta? Holy fuck, my mind is going to the worst possible scenarios. I really hope that's not the case, dude. I really fucking hope that isn't the case. But Jesus Christ, the more and more I think about it, the more and more it seems like it is the case. Well, that's our analysis. That was fucking dark. Holy shit. All I can really ask you is what do you think about this whole video? Let me know in the comments below. This is the longest video we've had. The most interesting one, really, in a while. Okay. All right. This video has gone on far too long as it is. But uh, apparently it seems like this Japanese businessman may have killed himself. I don't know. Whatever narration was going on was too fucked up by the background audio anyways. The voice wasn't clear enough. But shit. It's freaky. Fuck, man. I, Jesus Christ. All right. We're done with this video. We're done analyzing it, man. Fuck. That was, uh, that was interesting. That was really interesting. I hope this man didn't kill himself. I really hope this man didn't. Jesus Christ. That being said, we're going to end this video over here. Fuck. We're, we're done with this. Let's, let's back out. Jeez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have what appears to be our deep web video of the week at two minutes and 21 seconds long. What is it going to consist of? Well, I'm looking at the lovely little first frame and it is completely flying over my fucking head. But you know what? We're going to hit play and see exactly what it is. I'm not going to keep you here too long. We're going to hit play. We're going to see what it's all about. Uh, oh my fucking God. That audio is ass. I can hear it through my fucking headset. It is. Let me just check the waveforms on this. Did it render out wrong? No, don't, 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 don't start that shit up. Hold on. Oh, okay. Holy fuck. That is, that is actually fucking stupid. Apparently both this and here, I'm just going to put that down. I know I can turn off the audio, but, uh, actually, wait, I might as well do that right now. Why the fuck not? Wait, apparently both the, uh, where is the Kraken? There we go. Apparently both, th like, this re-render, because I always re-render these videos, obviously, you know, just just to just, uh, just re-export them out, fix up their little resolution issues and uh, whatnot, and change the name on, well, you know, you can change the name no matter what, but I just re-render it once, and I'm looking at the source waveforms, it is actually, it just sounds completely ass the entire way through, so I'm not going to bother putting the headphones on. But let's go to first page and play it. So here we go. 
We have a bunch of, uh, f we have base. Okay. Oh my god. It's, it's fucking satanic, dude. It's a satanic video this school year. What? This school year? What the fuck? What do you mean, this school year? A new after school program will be offered in elementary schools nationwide. Uh, this is kind of fucking weird. What? An after school club focused on rationalism? What? Why even free inquiry? Okay. All right. Like that kid. That kid's really excited for fucking learning about free inquiry and fun. Okay. All right. Just tossing in fun into that. It's a little, a little sketchy. I wouldn't do that necessarily. Okay. It's got this nice little fucking tracking shot. These kids don't look excited. After school Satan. Oh my fucking god. This is totally like. Christian bait right here. This looks like that too. Okay, this is this is actually pretty fucking creepy. Oh my god, I hate I hate looking at spiders like that. Okay. Alright, this is actually fucking creepy with like the dolls and shit right now. Why in the fuck does all the satanic shit always have to be fucking doom and gloom scary shit? Can we can we talk about that for a second? Like honest to fucking God, can we honestly talk about why all the satanic shit has to be super fucking doom and gloom? Like, why can't you ever come across some satanic shit that's, like, the happiest thing ever? Alright, let's, uh, let's see it. Alright, so, new after-school program. You're gonna learn about stanism. Here, let me actually fast-forward through here. We got these, got these, uh, okay. There's a lot, a lot of insects in this. These kids are apparently enjoying themselves learning about stanism. Skipping through a little bit. Okay, you got a nice little fucking reverse shot of kids walking into a school bus. For more information and to find an after school Satan club near you, after school. So what? What? Don't tell me this shit's actually real. All right, well, here we are at the after school Satan. Oh my god, this is actually a fucking real thing. Oh my god, this is great. I love how. Okay, so this is actually. Oh, this is a video on. Okay, that's interesting. So, uh, this is weird, okay, this video, apparently, alright, this video is a, is a little advertisement for f the little kid drawing Satan with the fucking cross, this is so weird, this is so fucking great, actually, but, uh, okay, apparently this is the, uh, after school Satan, okay, they're help, donate to help us counter evangelism in schools, alright, essentially the same, uh, town of people over here, so essentially, okay, so, uh, this is a giant ad we watched. I'm not going to analyze the video any further. I think we, uh, I think we got the, I think we got the fucking shit going on here. Let's see this, okay? Is Satanism in school legals? Okay, yes. In 2001, Supreme Court said that the school, you can, you can have satanic worship at the school, okay? That, that's fine and dandy. Oh my god, look at this fuck. Shopsatan.com? What? This is great. I love how this is like... The weirdest looking thing, too. It's like, there's a bunch of satanic kids. That kid's fucking, that kid's scary as shit already. That kid's high on life right there, dude. This is like the weirdest book cover I've ever seen. The Satanic Temple. Oh my god, we've actually seen this shit before. The Satanic Temple. Shop Satan. The Satanic Children Big Book of Activities. What? It, what? This is not real. Oh my god, this is so weird. What the fuck? I am honestly, like, I am spooked right now. I don't know what to say. You know, it's all fine and dandy. B do all you want, but, like, what? This is so interesting, honestly. I, m I might actually have to buy it, dude. I might have to get it. Do you even have a, do you even have a Twitter? Uh, yeah, we've actually seen the Satanic Temple before. We've actually been around the block over here. I think we've seen them. But I've never seen the after-school Satan thing. So apparently it's a group that wants you to create an after-school Satanic Temple ritual program. And honestly, they're, I guess they're in the right to do it, man. Like, I guess. But what the fuck? Scientific rationalism. Satanism is a religion that endorses scientific rationalism as the best model for understanding the nat ra uh, natural world, okay? How do I start an after school Satan club in my school district, okay? They're telling you how to do it. Don't you think it's best to keep it out of school? Yes, but the worst case scenario um, is this not a, okay, whatever, blah, 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 blah. All right. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This is the fuck, dude. This is crazy. Holy fuck. So apparently, right now, we've got a turf war brewing in the schools of America, ladies and gentlemen. 
where uh, Stanism and Evangelism, ev- evangelical, and blah, I can't even fucking talk right now. I'm actually shocked at whatever. Like, what the fuck, dude? This is crazy. And s- slowly but surely, there's going to be a war between two factions. Because apparently the After School Satan Club is... I can't believe it, actually. You know what? Honestly, all the power to them, to be honest. I, You know what? If they want to start up an o- their own club... Go for it, lads. Go. By all means, go for it. I just I just love how they have, like, this really, like, foreboding, edgy, scary-looking ad, uh, on uh, like, on their webpage. But you go to the site, it's such a mindfuck because it's, like, the nicest-looking site ever. They even have a fucking cutesy mascot. Holy shit. So they have a bunch of clubs, okay? They have them in Atlanta, Georgia, Los Angeles, California, Pensacola, Florida, Portland, Oregon, Salt Lake City, Utah, Seattle, Washington, Springfield, Tucson, Tucson, Arizona, Washington. Oh, they got a fair amount of schools, dude. You know what? Honestly, I guess all the power to you guys. It's just so weird. Like you watch this like advertisement, but then, then you see the whole like beautiful looking attractive site. It's such a weird thing. What in the fuck is this? So apparently they got a 40% thing funded. They're raising forty grand. I mean, hope uh, good luck with you guys. All right, good good luck, lads. You know, make make that make that paper. You feel me? So uh, they're making money. All of it's going to Satanic Temple in Somerville. Uh, they're in uh, Somerville, Massachusetts. Okay, all right. So uh, I guess what I learned today is that uh, advertisement and a fucking website is entirely different. This is after school Satan. All right, this web this this v- video has led me to uh, a new place on the D. De- uh, fucking. Well, what what is the web at this point when you come across a site as cutesy looking as this? I just love how, like, you just have the edgy video, but you have the absolute cutesy webpage. What is life at this point? What is this episode? Is this reality? Please let me know. Let's go to the next thing. Fuck.